Well, here we are stranded in the Meyer parking lot. Well, I have bad news and good news. Good news is, is I literally just brought my work car with my wife to drop me off to work on this. Turn the car on and it's fine. Um, that's the good news, right? But the bad news is, is that happened. All the lights, all of them, turned on. Said everything was off, 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 off. I'm gonna turn the car off just to make sure it doesn't do it again. And it was extremely scary because there was nothing you could do. Like when you remote started the car and put it into reverse, it would just completely shut off. So real quick, I want to interrupt and show you guys exactly what I was talking about since I couldn't replicate it, go figure, when I was trying to. But this is what happened. I had all the lights on, uh, full accessory, power active, I had the wrench. Then it goes through all this stuff, right? Pre-collision assist not available, service advanced track. Um, there were actually more lights that popped up than just this, and I imagine it's the same thing with this person as well. But I left, came back, um, and the car just miraculously worked. Um, pretty interesting, pretty scary uh, electrical bug. Now let's go back to the video. Yeah, everything looks to everything looks to be okay. That's crazy. So. My advice, if you come across this, because I've read it on the Facebook forums as well, the Facebook groups, is to disconnect the battery, wait 10 minutes, let everything reset, because this is a bunch of computers talking to each other, and then put it back on, and you should be okay. You should be okay. Um, hopefully, this is not gonna be an ongoing issue. Um, people have had problems with this, um, I'm not bullshitting you. This literally happened. I don't know how the car reset. Um, my wife could vouch for me on what we were experiencing because we're at the grocery store. We had to go. We had to get somebody to take us home, take our groceries home, come back with a work car, drop me off. I've got my tools for God's sakes. I don't carry these with me. Maybe I should. But uh, no, very scary. Um, this is why the bumper to bumper warranty is so important with electronics like this. Um, it's more important in my opinion than the powertrain warranty because the bumper to bumper warranty, even if you void your powertrain, will cover electronic issues. And just one tidbit before I let you guys go, there was just recently, I mean a couple days ago, that a guy had his entire screen replaced. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about buying a Mustang or anything like that. It's just like computers, you can have issues. If you're not very tech savvy or don't understand a lot about computers, um, this could be hard for you to troubleshoot on your own. Um, of course, there's only so much we can do anyway, but uh, like a battery reset is a good idea and it has worked for people. So let me know if you've had this problem before. How did you get it fixed? Did you take it to the dealer? Was it a corrupt update? I'm not so sure. I did just get a recent update. We'll just have to see. I'll be monitoring this vehicle. But yeah, this is uh, very scary and might not be the first time I encounter this. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.